Hey, Leo, welcome to your New Year reading here. Oliver, of course, my little lion is going to roar. Um, thank you for joining me, whether you are new or not. I appreciate you. I'm so thankful for you being here. Don't forget that the roles can be reversed in this. Um, also know that this could be the third party storyline. It may not resonate with you. Uh, if you don't know which sign of your chart you're trying to look for, uh, then look at your energetic conversations playlist for the um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter video. Okay. There will be an extended that will be available on Patreon, which is donation based or through a one time purchase. You can take your pick if that is available. And then um, I feel like I'm meaning to say something else to you, but um, I don't know why. I just feel uh, spirit kept these two under wraps. So let's just get going and see what's going on. All my information is below or you can find me at mindsetunicorn.me. Okay. Ooh. Some of you are getting really prepared for um, a big change on Thursday. This could be as well. Um, they're showing me here that this could be very likely uh, for some of you, a blessing in your home, but you've been kind of feeling like this was coming for a while. Okay, because again, you put this big wish out there, not once, but twice or multiple times. Your ancestors have heard it and they're offering you the space to find this, to go to this. This might be moving for some of you. Um, that could be moving in work, moving your career, moving across town, buying a house, okay? But it's movement forward. But this is because your ancestors are helping you. This also is about your inner child being ready. Or for some of you, a child is ready to join your family. And this is the dream for you. And it's gonna bring forth whatever it is that you need for this dream, okay? person, place, or thing. So that's very beautiful. So let's see what's going on here, Leo. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. The underlying here, Knight of Cups. Okay. I think you're coming out of a completion cycle in love. And it might have kind of made you feel like you were spinning round and round. But I think that you're ready to move forward. Overall energy here is six of wands. It's this one last action that brings all the success in, okay? And that's what you've been wishing for here. Because what's impacting from the past is that ace of wands. And I feel like it's like your ancestors were like, yeah, there was some work that you had to do to get you to this point. Okay, again, they're showing me current energy is that two of pentacles. It is movement. You're balanced and aligned for this movement forward. For some of you, it is a physical move, but it is meant for you. Um, it is what you've asked for. It is coming in in that manner. Future possibilities here is the four of cups. It might not be coming at you the way that you expected. Okay, which may make you question whether you should take it or not. So let's go ahead and clarify. Six of Wands, okay? Nine of Cups, Death and Rebirth, and the King of Pentacles. Again, your heart is really open to something that's starting to feel very stable in your life. This could be a friendship. This friend could have been brought into your life for this reason specifically. And this helps you to go through this transformation, but it might be opening your heart. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on here, guys. Oh my goodness. More than you can imagine. All right. 
yeah and this is new um <laughs> for some of you that have are not ready for a new one that might be what's coming okay ace of wands and i don't know why all of a sudden i'm uh i'm hearing um i don't remember the full name of the channel but um she goes by green eyes and i haven't listened to one of her readings for a very long time i just haven't had the time but i do love listening to her readings when i do have time she's just so full of life and love but she always calls that ace of wands the boomstick and so it was like i heard in my head of like her calling it the boomstick okay and we've got the three of wands the six of cups and the four of swords whatever this is that came in got you thinking about your future, got you healing yourself, and um, was definitely, again, soul bond energy. You may even have thought about, oh, could this be the one? Could this be it? Okay. And maybe that is just a house. You were like, oh, is this finally going to be the house that we get? Two of pentacles. Thank you. Judgment, Devil, and the Four of Pentacles. You are moving forward, but um, you know what's best. This reminds me of an experience I had buying a car, okay? Used car salesman. And this is pretty much my experience most of the time when I've bought a car, is that I go in and I'm like, this is what I'm willing to pay total, and this is what I'm willing to pay a month. And if you can't give me that, then this is not the car for me, period. End of story, right? And I kind of feel that, like, I feel like somebody's trying to get you to pay more in some way. And you're like, no, nope, then I guess it's not for me. Hold your ground on that because I think that's what gets you what you want. Four of cups, eight of cups. Okay. They're like, that is the one coming out. Ace of swords and the queen of swords, nine of cups on the bottom. Um, just as you're walking away, you know that that's really what you want. And there's a pull, back and forth pull for you on whether you should take this or leave it. But underlying, you're going to get whatever it is that you want in all aspects here. Um, just be very solid with what you want okay king of pentacles judgment eight of swords and the eight of pentacles again you didn't think that this was possible in your head you didn't think it was possible and so you haven't gone for it in this way but all of a sudden you've been seeing signs and it's re reinfused something in you to go after this six of cups ace of cups three of swords and the emperor yeah this was something very fiery very divine something fiery not once but not twice not three times maybe four times <laughs> and um even though you started after like the Second time that this really ignited for you, you started feeling both good things and the bad things that needed to heal. But you, this was in order to love yourself enough to accept what you want and to know that you're worthy of it. Okay? The devil, strength, the moon. And the magician yeah you know that this is for you and you're not gonna let anything pull a game on you okay yeah five of pentacles you're like nope mm -mm. and especially if somebody's trying to say don't get the house inspection yeah we're getting the house inspection okay ace of swords and the ace of swords the star and the world yeah, this is a completion of a cycle of not just one, but two of your wishes. And 
a lot more on the way. Okay, Eight of Wands on the bottom. So that's really funny, but it does, this just fell out of the deck. It all just starts with that boomstick, okay? All right, so let's see what the universe wants to say. And then I am gonna pull a few Oracle cards before I head over to the extended to look at this boomstick a little more closely. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. You really liked liked playing with this. You really liked how this opened your heart. You really liked the playfulness. You even kind of are happy with the healing process that's coming with this. But at some point, the lesson drops, Five of Wands. And I think that's kind of where <laughs> you're um, heading. And I don't think it's a bad lesson, but um, it's coming through as being very new beginnings. Lots of energy showing up as this brings a very new world for you. And it was just 11-11 on the um, timing when I looked at it. Let's see what the comic insights say. Yeah, okay, be caution. Again, for that devil, be very cautious. Um, Find out more information, okay? There is something you're questioning. Um, if you are going through a breakup because somebody else was in the middle of this, move on. It's not financially good for you to stick with this. Again, some sort of communication that's coming is what you've manifested. You were dealing with cycles of narcissism and this will bring you the kind of commitment, not a lie, of what you really want and need. Of course, that's not for, some of these parts are not for everyone. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, I think that um, Mercury moving into Capricorn is going to make everything happen very quickly with this communication. So make sure that you are being very open to the information. Again, because this cycle completes very, very quickly. It's very aligned right now. Um, I do feel like um, there's an aspect here that maybe, maybe yesterday you felt very energetic and maybe tomorrow you're gonna feel like you need some rest, right? Our energy is not as perpetual as the sun is. And sometimes we do need to rest, but they're telling me in the next two weeks, you will see what you, yep, exactly. When it comes, it comes. You will see what you need to see, okay? So I hope this helps you. I'm gonna move to that extended. That link is down below. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful year. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and help others find the messages on this channel and the Oracle of the Celestial, okay? Much love, guys. Bye.